Okay, in this video we're going to put together a bedroll with a zelt bond and a wool blanket. The reason you do this, protect the wool blanket from getting wet out in the field. I, couldn't, I am not going by any one particular country's regulations or for any particular time period. So those of you that are going to start freaking out about that, that it's not according to this country's regulation or that country's regulations, guess what? I don't care. I'm going off of the more practical way that I and the combat cameraman were able to come up with. Now, first off, we laid out our Zeltbahn. We put the inside part of the Zeltbahn facing up. How do you tell the inside part on the East German one here? The grommet. So this grommet should be facing up. There will not be one on the other side. Next you're going to spread out your wool blanket. Find the center point on the long axis and you're going to put that center line, center point, where this little loop is. Bring the bottom of the wool blanket to the edge as close as you can. And it should be centered as best as possible. Now the particular blanket I am using is a USGI wool blanket. It is larger than a Zeltbahn. You can see up here at the edge, here's the edge of the zelt bond, here's the edge of the blanket. That overhang you want at the top. Now, we want the wool blanket on the inside of the zelt bond. First, we're going to roll or fold over some of the long edge here. Down at the bottom are the buttons. So go to the first button from the eye grommet at the end. Roll the blanket over to just to the inside of the button. If camera guy will show you, do that at the bottom. Do it at the top. Try to get a nice straight edge, straight up and down. Now we'll go over to the other side, repeat over here, fold over the wool blanket to just inside that button, bottom, top, Now, the next part, I'm going to go up to the top here. Our tripod's not cooperating, that's why it's flying all over the place. Now, we'll repeat the same thing up at the top. We'll take the top edge, the wool blanket, fold it over, to about just past the first button on either side. Even it out. Should give us a nice overlap here.
Now we're going to go through, fold over the outside edges of the Zelpon on each side, on the long sides. Then we're going to go back to the bottom edge here. And we're going to start our roll. We're going to try to keep it as tight as possible. First, flip it over on the edge so that your buttons are facing up. Bottom little seam here will be towards the bottom. So that you get a fairly even roll. And then, you're going to start rolling. Just flipping it over. Trying to keep it even as you go, as tight as you go, as you can as you're rolling. Try to keep it even as you're going up the best you can. Pick out any grass and crud from your previous night here in the field. Keep going. Now, we're at the edge here of the wool blanket. We got some overlap here. If you potentially want to, you could stuff your stakes, tent poles, rope, right in here in the center, over the top of where your pack would be. Put them in there. And then roll them, the remainder of your roll. When you would put it on top of your pack, you got the center loop here. We'll go to the center of the top of your pack. Drape it down over the sides. Your tent poles and that should be right here in the center on the top of the pack so it should not interfere. Then you strap it down. There you go, that's the technique that I and Combat Cameraman could come up with on how to do this. Is it the correct way according to East German regulations? Probably not, and you guess what? I don't care, East Germany's been gone since the early 90s. But here you go. Now, for all my engineer brothers and the Patriot and Militia movements, always remember, Essayons.